they're on their feet here at Legion Field. It is a sea of orange and white and crimson and white. The kick is a line drive kick into the end zone where Humphrey will go down on one knee. So let's meet the Crimson Tide offensively. On third and three. Done the freshman up to the 42-yard line. Out of Greensboro, North Carolina, good speed and acceleration for the youngsters. <laughs> Caught by Howard Cross, the junior out of New Hope, Alabama, the tight end. He is 6'6 six, six and 232. <laughs> Dunn will keep it. All he needs is two yards. He's got it. Deepest penetration inside the 45. Kelly Days, the free safety, the freshman from Dayton, made the stop. First and 10 for Alabama. Dunn's first pass. Got his man at the 30. Another first down. That's Clay Whitehurst, the senior out of Nashville, Tennessee. The defender fell down. Dunn needs 12. Incomplete or caught? At the 15-yard line, they're saying Marco Battle pulled it in. An incredible catch for the sophomore out of Phoenix City, Alabama. Cross and Epps, again, the double tights, 85 and 91, respectively, for Alabama. Tennessee shows blitz, and there goes Doug Allen. Inside the five. Kelly Days, the free safety again, the freshman out of Dayton on the stop. Knocking on the door from the six-inch line. The Crimson Tide again. Stack backfield. Done. Takes the snap. Touchdown, Alabama. John Wright out of Pritchard, Alabama, goes over the top. Blocking on that left side by Jeff Bentley, 68, and Larry Rose, the junior, number 74. for Francis. Deep drop can run, but he needs six. Will dive up near the 30 and not get the necessary yardage. Tommy Cole, the junior out of Jasper, Alabama, made the hit. Garman off the side of his foot. Jokes fields at a dead run going east-west and now breaks it big. One man to beat. Touchdown. Cobb gets a rest. Davis is in. Francis goes airborne. Wants it all. On the fly. Looking downfield. Dropped at the 18-yard line. Terrence Cleveland looks for the penalty flag. There is no call. What Garmin kicks with is actually a two-step punt. They've gotten away from the one and a half. Time is the most important thing. Get it up there. Play action fake. Dunn wants to go up top. Intercepted by Tennessee at the 37-yard line. Terry McDaniel, the senior out of Saginaw, Michigan. Tennessee 0 for 2 on third down conversions. Howard, Wilson, and Cobb now line up in the backfield. That's a first down for the Volunteers at midfield. William Howard, the senior out of Lima, Ohio, behind the big center, Todd Kirk. Blitz. Francis reads it and unloads. Penalty flag is down, as is Thomas Woods. Holding Tennessee. Third and 18. Francis going for the home run. Pick off. John Magum at the 10. Third and 10. Done from the two. Wants it all. Looks downfield. Goo. Got it. He's gone. Francis will put it up. Wide open. Woods, first down for the Volunteers. Big hole right side as Bruin and Stewart do their jobs. William Howard trucks on through. First down for Tennessee at the 44 of Alabama. Cleveland and Harper wide to the right. Francis flares it out. He's got Cobb. 
Loose football. Alabama at the 45. Done four out of six. 128 yards. Touchdown. Big hole for Allen over the middle. Roger Schultz, a freshman, 6'2", 250. Redshirted last year. He's the center. You know, Kevin, when you start to make mistakes like that, the face mask, it's a sign of frustration setting in. Well, a lot of times it's a, it's, it's a sign of just, that's what it is. It is a face mask. Battle, top of the screen. Stafford to the near side on third and six. Blitz. Incomplete at the 25-yard line. Howard Cross, and what a collision there by Kelly Days. Philip Doyle will try a 47-yarder out of the hold of Larry Abney. On its way, and it looks good. The Crimson Tide have done no wrong. They lead the Volunteers 24-zip. Francis, the junior quarterback. Slow developing play, and Francis is down at the 11. Derek Thomas, the junior out of Miami, leads the teams in leads the team in sacks with seven. Second and twenty. Picked off at the 28-yard line by Lee Osmond, the sophomore out of Anderson, South Carolina. Third. Kerry <laughs> Goo. His brother, Pierre Good, with a 60-yard touchdown reception on the night, caught by Kelly Ziegler. A 41-yard field goal try. Philip Doyle, two for three on the night, out of the hold of Larry Abney on its way, and it is wide to the right. Nobody comes out over to help him out, and Francis has to dive to the 28. Philip Brown made the tackle secure. You could see that from up here. That was going absolutely nowhere. Third and six. What the Alabama defense does is they wait till the offense lines up, then they spread. That is a first down, and that's Terrence Cleveland. First and ten from the 49. Francis three for nine. 37 yards. Davis in the backfield. And so are the crimson jerseys of Alabama. Daryl Whetstone. Now they'll align defensively, so it makes it tough on the quarterback to read the defense. Defense read Davis perfectly. Byron Holbrooks on the stop. On extra effort, Keith Davis will break it for a first down. Wide open. Out of bounds at the 23, Thomas Woods. There have been some major upsets coming up at halftime, including Syracuse coach Dick McPherson, who will talk about what they did to Joe Paterno and Penn State in the Carrier Dome. Wide open at the 13, Charles Wilson. Out of bounds inside the five. Francis now changing the play up, sending Woods further wide to the left. In the end zone, Terrence Cleveland. Phil Rich, five for six, as you saw, out of the hold of Randy Sanders. He's a quarterback. Might be alert for a play fake. Hashmark right side, a 20-yarder is on its way, and it's up and good. So the Volunteers in the final three minutes of the first half are on the board. Seven penalties against Bama for 42 yards. Two of those penalties have been holding calls. The fullback, John White, who has a touchdown, crosses the 30-yard line. The time has run down, 24-3. Alabama on top over Tennessee. Let's go back to the studio and our host, Tim Brando. Third and five, Francis fires. Got his man in a first down at the 40-yard line. McGuire, the senior out of Memphis. Wide open over the middle. Thomas Woods found the seam and cracked it. Inside the 40-yard line of Alabama. Francis with a hot hand to start the second half. Again, the audible by Francis. Splits Woods out further at the bottom of your screen. Quick drop. Woods. Dancing down to the 30-yard line again. A 
slaps the helmet again with a play call. Quick drop. Woods again. Got it. And look out. Down to the 21. Had he gotten away from Gene Jelks, it was touchdown. Third and eight. Big third down set offensively for Tennessee. And a trail by 21. Flair by Francis is incomplete at the 15. It'll be a 36-yard try. Rich on the year, one for one. And three for three from this distance for his career. Out of the hold of Randy Sanders, a quarterback. I'd be real aware of a fake here. You have to be. On its way, it's up, and it is good. Option by Dunn. And down he goes in the grasp of Darren Miller. Miller, 6'1", 227, the outside linebacker on the right side from Flemington, New Jersey. Third and seven. Allen tells the play to Bobby Humphrey. Blitz. Dunn picks it up, fires. Bounds or did he drag the foot at the 40? Whitehurst makes a remarkable catch. One foot's out. Oh, woo, woo. boy, let your toenails grow on that one. That, he made it by by a hangnail. Oh, the acceleration across the 50 down to the 48 and 47. Terry McDaniel, the left side quarterback on the stop. Done. On first and ten, will scramble. Great catch by Humphrey out of the backfield, and another Bama first down at the 28. Third and eight. Dunn digs in. Hold him out. Hold him out. Hold Middle's him out. wide open. He flares it out, and it is almost picked off at the 12-yard line. Looking for Merco Battle. There's Phil Doyle. This will be a 43-yard field goal try. Watch it. He nailed it. Out of the hold of Larry Abney, Doyle has had a big night. Alan Ward. Hash mark far side. Reggie Cobb is back in there. He's number 34 deep. Ward hangs it high at the three. Dribbled by Cobb. Picks it back up. Look out. Cobb, the freshman, on his way. Tripped up from behind. Well, Daryl Whetstone replaces him. He's 6'4", 256, one of eight kids out of Montgomery. On second and six, Francis can't waste time. Unloads it out. Got his man out of the backfield, William Howard. And he's rambling for big yardage inside the 25, down to the 22. Kermit Kendrick has him there. But second down and nine. Passing situation as Francis looks over the Bama defense. Quickly gets it over to Terrence Cleveland. Cleveland down at the eight-yard line. Jelks banged him there. Running down toward the Tennessee end of the stadium where the volunteer orange and white are. <laughs> Keith Davis up ended at the five. Loose football, and Bama's got it. Jelks. Second and nine. Humphrey had trouble. He almost popped it up himself on the exchange, and look out. Kelly Days chased him out of bounds. Talk about reaction. Third and five. Done. Incomplete at the 45, looking for Whitehurst on a slant in post pattern. First and 10 at the 35. Francis, airborne. Batted up the volleyball drill, picked off Alabama again. Turnover number five, Lydell Mitchell, the senior from Pritchard, Alabama, with the INT. Down the road, but the reaction, that's a little deceiving there, you see, because there was a safety man, and people reacting after the ball was thrown. From the 48, first and 10, Alabama, going for the juggler now. Dunn, airmails it, caught inside the five, Clay Whitehurst. And he may be approaching that point. An offense that's on the screen, two field goals. It'll be a 28-point lead after Humphrey takes it in. Met Carolyn last night. She was here watching the high school game. Had a big press reception. Francis needs 10. Fires up near the 18-yard line and falling forward to the 20, but shy of first down yardage goes Terrence Cleveland. I think you've got to go for a yard. Punt the ball away. You might not get it back again for four more minutes. You give it to him in good field position. 
at the 43-yard line. Of course, obviously, they were hoping for a turnover. <laughs> yeah, now it's, it, after he dropped it, I think it's indicative. I think another thing you have to consider is that I don't think Johnny Majors wants to get his team blown out. Coaches like to have the same assistance around them. Third and five, done, backpedals, looks, down he goes at the 41-yard line. The Volunteers will get the ball back. 1953, Tennessee and Alabama played, and right in this booth, two very famous alums from Tennessee and from Alabama. Mel Allen did the play-by-play. -play. Lindsey Nelson did the color. Each from the opposite school. They stood side-by-side, toe-to-toe. <laughs> the game ended in a tie, and when it was over, Mel Allen closed off the broadcast and said, Linz, we're still friends. <laughs> First down at the 41-yard line, Nate Middlebrooks. <laughs> He valves it out. Caught by Howard. Howard hammers his way out of bounds at the 49 of Alabama. It was a first down from the 48 of Alabama. The Volunteers scrapping to get back into the game. They need a couple of quick scores. Francis airmails it. Picked off. That's the sixth turnover. Greg Gilbert, the junior from Decatur. 6-2, 205. Comes up with another interception. And Alabama from their own 35. Around 11 minutes left to go. Dunn will put it up. Wide open. Whitehurst, again, his seventh reception, and he's tackled close to midfield. A pickup of 12. Humphrey dives for another Alabama first down. the 33-yard line where Tony Nelson made the stop. By Gould will go the other way. Straight ahead goes Humphrey. Down near the 32, Marion Hobby has him there. Humphrey the century mark watching tonight. Third and 16, the freshman dumps it off. Incomplete, looking for Humphrey out of the flat. Rich, who owns a 52-yarder, or Doyle, excuse me, this is Doyle. On its way. Short and wide to the right. Francis needs four. Wants more over the middle, and he's got it for a first down at the 33. Nate Middlebrooks. Or John Rollins. It's Rollins out of Knoxville. From the 33, Francis looks. Fires first down at the 13 to Terrence Cleveland. Francis looks over with kind of crushing crimson defense tonight. At the five, now down to the four goes Vincent Moore, a freshman out of Memphis. From the two. Howard. He did all that on his own. Touchdown, Tennessee. Woods and the two-point conversion is good. Adam Epstein. Will split it. And Bama's got it at the 46-yard line. Playing here before virtually a home crowd after a big upset last week by Memphis State. Pressure all eyes on the Princeton. See how they respond to that loss. They fake the end around. There's a load down at the 36-yard line. Kimbrough's got him. On second and six. Bama by 20. Bobby Humphrey explodes around that right side for a gain of seven. Kelly Ziegler has him there. There's the Alabama record when Bobby Humphrey rushes for 100 yards or more. Eight and two. Another one to make it nine and two. And there goes Bobby Humphrey. He'll sell some more soda. Yeah. I'll take two. Every time he scores, he thinks about the vendors in the stands because he was one. And as Kevin said, they always sold more after Alabama scored. Francis has gone the whole way. Great diving catch at the 26 by McGuire. First down at the 45-yard line, Nate Middlebrooks. Curry talked about coaches. He, he was exposed to some great coaches.
close to first down yardage at the 44 goes Howard Ramers got him there on second and seven Francis backpedal loops it out in the flat out of bounds at the 33 Howard on the completion clock is stopped with about a minute five left to go second and ten Francis looks fires over the middle got his man inside the ten that's John Rollins touchdown Rollins kept fighting and the volunteers on the board a 33 yard scoring strike from that man number 19 Jeff Francis Rollins three receptions 58 yards all this half the two point conversion try coming up same play they ran last time Francis looks for Woods and it's caught in the end zone for a two point conversion certainly one loss would not damage their bowl bid at all how they respond will be the key Epstein bangs it up loose football down it's still loose big scramble for it at the 43 and Bama has recovered Ray wrestled down at the 47 yard line by Tracy Hayward well Bill Curry gave us the quote earlier Nobody can affect your attitude without your permission and how you rebound from a loss. Well, they rebounded just fine after that upset by Memphis State and Tennessee. Kevin, you can expect will rebound as well. Johnny Majors has too much talent not to. Two of the great programs in the country. We talked about the tradition at the head of the show. He's new to the tradition, but he's been a winner. He turned the Georgia Tech program around. And he turned it around in one week here, losing to Memphis State. Devastating to Alabama fans, but not devastating to Bill Curry. He was able to get the team ready. They came back, and they pounded Tennessee pretty good early in this game. Probably in the late first quarter, they had the game in hand. All right, a great game by my partner, Kevin Kiley. A final score, Alabama 41, Tennessee 22. Tennessee was unbeaten and ranked number eight in the country. Coming in, they leave with that one loss now.